This is the 13, 14, 15 triangle. Something interesting about this triangle is that when you extend from B onto point onto line AC, where it's perpendicular, line BH is equal to 12. Line BH also separates the, the triangle ABC into two separate triangles, A, two separate right triangles actually, AHB and CHB. These two triangles are both special triangles because their ratios are always there. Let me explain. Triangle AHB is a thir 5, 12, 13 triangle. This is because the side lengths are 5, 12, and 13. And anything else, any other triangle with the side lengths with the same ratio are also 5, 12, 13 triangles and are right triangles as well. Triangle CHB is a 34, 5 triangle. Now, even though tri this triangle doesn't have the side lengths 3, 4, 5 exactly, the side lengths all multiply, are all multiplied by, by 3, making them into 9, 12, and 15. Since 3 times 3 equals 9, 3 times 4 equals 12, and 3 times 5 equals 15, it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now, to find the area of triangle ABC, there's two ways. One, well, technically two ways we're doing it here. One way is base times height, which is AC and BH. So, area of triangle A. When you write on my pen, the area of triangle ABC is one half times twelve times fourteen, which is also equal to eighty-four. Then another way of doing a Finding the area of a triangle is doing the Heron's formula. Triangle the area is equal to square root s times s minus a b times s minus a c times s minus b c, where s is equal to a b plus b a c plus b c divided by two, also known as the semi perimeter. Well, for this triangle, s is equal to thirteen plus fourteen plus fifteen divided by 2, which is also 21. Let's write that better, 21. So putting that, putting the values of S and triangle and A, B, A, B, A, C, and B, C, area of triangle B, C is equal to square root 21 times 21 minus 15, 21 minus 14, and 21 minus 15, there we go. This is also equal to square root, square root 2 to the fourth power times 3 to the second power times 7 to the second power, which is also equal to 84. Well, I want you to look at that. The area, the area by solving from Base, one half base times height is equal to 84. By using Harold's formula, you get the same answer. Now, when it's not as convenient as if you know the height already, a good way to solve a problem is using Harold's formula.